Good morning, my friends. It's Wednesday, August 30th. Whoa, and it is 6.45 a.m. So that whole getting up before my alarm thing worked really well because I woke up at six o'clock and had to pee. And <laughs> was like, well, I could just get up. And so I laid there in bed for like 20 minutes, poked at my phone, whatever. But then I got up and started the coffee early and got moving early. So I am starting the day off the right way, in my opinion, and I'm super stoked about it. It's funny because I am very much a morning person. I enjoy mornings. It takes me a while to get going in the morning, but I really, like, the sun is out, the neighborhood is still quiet, and I really, I really like it. Um, but I also like sleep, and I need sleep in order to function, and so if I don't feel rested, it's hard for me to get out of bed. But for some reason, I woke up at 6 o'clock, and I was like, you know what? I think I have enough energy where I can actually just go. So I did, and it's awesome. So happy Wednesday, happy hump day. The week is half over. Here we go. Hello friends, it is now 11.45 and I'm running just a little bit behind. I wanted to have my butt in my desk chair at 11, but I am about to go and get there now. However, I have done a lot today already. I was out the door before 8 o'clock this morning. I stopped at the post office to send off my Stitch Fix package returns. I got to the gym and got an excellent workout in, including 45 minutes on the elliptical and some weight training. And I decided to make a stop at Walmart for a couple of essential things. I have been out of lunch meat. I didn't know what I was going to have for lunch. And I wanted some apples to create a little baked apple creation later. And I wanted the ingredients for my, not my, a recipe that I know about, one Smart Point ranch dressing. I don't know, I'm just craving some ranch right now. So I came home from the grocery store and made the ranch dressing, showered, opened two packages, which I'm going to show you, and now I'm getting ready to go work. I divided my breakfast. My breakfast was a cup of coffee and the same overnight pumpkin oats that I had yesterday, but I divided it up. I ate half of it before the gym and half of it as soon as I got home. I'm trying to decide if I'm still hungry because I worked pretty hard at the gym and so I was ravenous when I got home. But anyway, let me show you what came in the mail. It's from Amazon. Okay, so here it is. First, we have this Crazy Cups decaf coffee. I actually got this idea from my favorite beauty YouTuber, Jen from Jen Loves Reviews, and she said she started getting the K-Cups of this, and as she was editing late at night, it was really nice to have like a chocolate something without actually diving into a dessert. She has nothing to do with diet or healthy living or anything. She's strictly a beauty YouTuber, but it makes sense. All of us are trying to make healthier choices, right? And she said it was just so good. She gets the K-Cups, but I decided to just get the ground coffee because on Amazon the K-Cups weren't currently available. So I'm going to try this a little bit later. This with a little bit of creamer. If you do sugar-free creamer, it'll be zero or one point. But if you do even a regular creamer, you could have a two or three point snack instead of indulging in a whole dessert. So we'll try that and then this is what happens when you can't find your favorite traditional medicinals tea in the grocery store. I have checked three different Targets, both of my Walmarts, and I'm pretty sure I've gone to like Jewel and what, every, every grocery store that I have walked in in the last week and a half, I have looked for this tea and nobody stinking carries it. Um, and, and it's the places that I've purchased it in the past. And so I took to Amazon and Amazon <laughs> for $25 had a pack of six and I said you know what fine and I bought it so what this is is the organic weightless tea and it's supposed to relieve temporary water weight and bloating and whatnot and it's something that I could really use right now I don't know I'm just feeling a little bit bloated I have been for a couple days and haven't had this despite my best efforts for trying so I now have some I already have some steeping and I'm going to thoroughly enjoy drinking it all afternoon long the only downside is I'm going to be running to the bathroom a lot. You guys, this little girl needs your help. While mommy is sitting here working, she gets so bored that she sits here and stares at me and makes me feel really guilty <laughs> about working. So my question to you is this. Do you know of any interactive, hi baby, interactive dog toys, like puppy toys that like, I don't know, have a battery or something that like she could chase around and play with without the need for a human? Do you guys know of anything like that? Let me know. I'm open to suggestions. Drop me links, email me, all that jazz, because my husband and I are both in agreement that this little girl needs some interaction even while mommy and daddy are both working. 
and I want to give that to her because I always feel so bad trying to do my own work. So let me know. Please, please, please let me know. Save the puppy. <laughs> anyway, here is lunch. Lunch is peppers and two smart points of hummus. And this is a bacon ranch turkey club. Oh, yeah. I made my own ranch dressing for one smart point for two tablespoons. So psyched about it. Don't worry. I'll put a recipe up at some point. And it's got one smart point of bacon, one smart point pita, one smart point of ranch, one smart point of turkey, zero smart points for the fat-free cheese, and zero smart points for the pickle. And I am going to watch an episode of Younger because it is a short show and enjoy my lunch break. When it's nearly 6 p.m. and you have 20 points left for the day, you order sushi. This is my favorite sushi roll from a local sushi shop across the street called the Downtown Fire Roll. And <laughs> I'm counting it as how many pieces are there on two, three, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> I don't know how I'm counting it yet. I have to go through the tracker and figure out exactly how I want to count this, but I have 20 points left, so I'm going to enjoy as much of this as I want guilt-free because it's 6 p.m. So, hooray for sushi night, and it was happy hour, which means it was half price or just about half price. Instead of $15 for one roll, it was 19 for two. Happy day. Hey, Alice. Can you cuddle the couch or cuddle the chair? Cuddle. Oh, <laughs> you're such a good girl. <laughs> That's very nice. Hey, Alice, can you do pyramid? Pyramid. We've Yay. Alice, can you do plus? Yay. Oh, look at you. Alice, no. high five. Oh, you're a rock star tonight. Good job. I don't think you have any more tricks. Hey, Alice, what does the lion say? Rawr. Oh, do you do it? <laughs> do it again. Rawr. Oh. What does the lion say? Say rawr. What about the piggy? <laughs> My child is like a monkey. <laughs> what does the monkey say? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh done. we're done. Okay. <laughs> Good evening, my friends. It is 10 o'clock on the nose, and I feel like it should be midnight. Oh, my goodness. So after I finished doing a day full of work, which was reasonably productive, not quite as productive as I would have liked it to be, but I still feel like I got a decent amount done. I got emails sent. I actually did some computer cleaning, which doesn't sound like work, but when you com constantly create videos and stuff that take up space, you need to take the time to wipe things out and get things transferred and do all that. So I did some of that. I got the, the skeleton of three blog posts written. So I have words there. I just have to perfect them before I and get pictures before I can publish them. But I got three of that done. I got the video up, the vlog up. You can tell that my brain is done. And then after dinner, I decided to go get sushi for dinner or after dinner, after work, I decided to go get sushi for dinner because it was half or not half price, but it was like happy hour sushi. So the, my favorite sushi roll from the place across the street was a lot cheaper. So I got two of them and they were delightful. And I walked to get them. I have 15,000 steps today. I got a good workout in. I made some ranch dressing. I like. I feel like I did a pretty good job. I have the dishwasher ready to go for when I finish the last couple dishes that I'm planning on having here. And I went and played with Alice today. I, I was over at my parents' house for, I don't know, two hours maybe. Just playing with the baby because my mom kept sending me videos of her. And whenever I see too much Alice, I have the urge to go and play with her. So I did because I technically was done working for the day. And... I think that like that's the point of this whole schedule thing, right? You block off time, you do the work, and then you can not work later in the evening, and it feels really good. So I didn't technically get to chore time or reading time. I can read before I go to bed, and I did do some cleaning in the kitchen as soon as I got home because I just wanted to get things put away. And I'm here with little Miss who has the other half of a specialty cookie. This is not my cookie. This is her cookie. 
and my fear is that she's going to make a mess with the cookie, but we'll see what she does with it. So she's hanging out with me on the couch, and I am having a cup of that coffee that I showed you that I hauled earlier today. That decaf chocolate coffee, and it's actually really good. It, it hits the spot, so I came home, but I was very proud of myself because I didn't eat a single morsel at my parents' house, and usually I find something to eat there because it's full of goodies and whatnot. And I didn't, I didn't even want anything. I was super impressed. So that sushi really filled me up really good because I came home and I still wasn't hungry, but I started to get like the, the itch for something sweet, but I'm like, but I really don't want to eat any food, but I really want dessert, but I really don't want to eat any food. So I compromised and I said, okay, let's, let's bust open this coffee. And it is totally hitting the spot, totally hitting the spot. So I will have it linked down below. It is crazy cups, decaf like doubled chocolate or death by chocolate or something chocolate coffee. And I think it was like eight dollars or eight ninety nine. I don't know. It's it's going to get the job done, which is awesome. Mm. So that is curing the sweet tooth. And I'm gonna sit here for a little bit because it's earlier than I thought it was. Like I said, I feel like it should be midnight. My face is already washed. And like like we're talking, I'm I'm nailing it right now. And I'm going to watch some TV and cuddle with my baby and then go to bed because that's what you do. That's what you do. And tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow my workday might be interrupted by having to go and watch Alice for a little bit because one of the other dogs in my parents' house is now sick and needs to go to the vet. It's a sad time to be a dog at my parents' house, apparently. Rudy is doing much better, but now my sister's dog is sick, and he is a dog that actually has survived cancer. So who knows what this little guy could be dealing with? I don't know. Um, so I might, my work day might be interrupted to go do that tomorrow. So that's unfortunate, but... I get to spend time with the baby, so that'll be nice. And my husband comes home tomorrow, in theory, yes, but barring no big issues or changes. And then tomorrow's another day, and hopefully we're gonna do the same thing. So I put zero smart points worth of creamer in my coffee, which means I have five points left for the day, but I'm willing to bet that 15 points for my sushi was maybe not quite enough, so I'm calling it a wash, calling it an even 30. I earned a blue dot. And that's my husband. So I am going to say good night. Thank you for watching. Take care, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.